Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the difference between Redis and Memcache. Redis is an in-memory data structure store that can be used as a database, cache and message broker. It was created in 2009 and it, is, it was written in C. Memcache is a distributed in-memory cache that speeds up dynamic web applications by reducing the number of times an external data source must be read. It was created in 2003 and also written in C. Redis stores data as five different data types, strings, hashes, list, sets, and sorted sets. Redis data types support operations that allow users to access or change parts of a data object without having to load the entire object. Redis uses keys which supports a maximum size of 512 MB and values up to 512 MB. On the other hand, Memcache stores data as strings indexed by a string key and uses an allocation mechanism called slab. Memcache supports keys with a maximum size of 250 bytes and values up to 1 MB. Redis data types and operations can be more efficient than Memcache when performing CRUD operations. Redis scales well horizontally using a master-slave architecture. On the other hand, Memcache can scale vertically by adding more cores and memory. But it can also scale horizontally by implementing a distributed algorithm, although this can be more complex to implement. Redis is an in-memory data store that is not volatile, while Memcache is an in-memory cache that is volatile. Memcache uses an LRU eviction policy, while Redis supports six different eviction policies. Redis supports two forms of persistence, RDB snapshot and AOF log. RDB snapshot is a point-in-time snapshot of the entire dataset that is stored in a file on disk and performed at specific intervals. On the other hand, AOF log is an append-only file that records all write commands performed in the Redis server. Redis allows data keys and strings to be up to 512 MB in length and can store any type of data including binary data. Memcache has a maximum key length of 250 bytes and a default maximum value size of 1 MB, although this can be increased by changing settings. Hence, Redis is a better choice for storing larger data object than Memcache due to its larger size limits. Both Redis and Memcache have data eviction policies to remove stale data from memory so that we can make room for new data. Memcache data eviction policy is based on the least recently used or LRU principle. On the other hand, Redis has several data eviction policies in addition to LRU, including no eviction and volatile TTL. Replication is the process of copying data from one instance to another to create a replica for data redundancy. Redis supports native replication in a master follower fashion and can have multiple replicas for added redundancy. Memcache, however, does not support replication natively and it would require third-party software to replicate data. Redis also supports clustering. Clustering is a way to improve the availability of a service by connecting multiple instances together to form a cluster. Redis offers Redis Cluster, which enables clustering features and can improve performance by spreading load across multiple clusters and connecting directly to the node where the data is stored. Historically, Memcache has an advantage over Redis in terms of multi-threading speed, which means that it could perform better in some situations. However, as of Redis 6, multi-threading is supported in Redis as well. Now to summarize when to use what, Memcache is simple to set up and use and it is suitable for small and simple applications with a few servers that only require some basic string interpretation. However, since Redis is a more feature-rich and mature product with active ongoing development, hence it is more suitable for applications that need access to a wide range of data structure and stream processing capability or where we need the ability to modify and change keys and values in place or in case we need custom data eviction policies 
or if we need persistence of data to disk for backups and warm restarts, etc. Also, high availability or scalability through replicas and clustering is available on Redis. Hope you found this video helpful to understand the difference between Mapcache and Redis. Thank you.